this is Kristen with Mermaid Wax. I'm going to talk to you about histamine reactions. Um, now before I dive in, if any of y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment down below or like and subscribe. Um, I always love chatting with you all, so don't ever hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm truly here to help. Uh, but what is a histamine reaction? Okay, so a histamine reaction is um, a chemical in your white blood cells that is released into the bloodstream uh, when the immune system is trying to defend itself against a potential allergen. Um, this can result in an allergic reaction. So some people get a histamine reaction uh, from wax or after waxing because of the trauma to the skin. Um, this can cause them to get like redness, uh, like blotchy red spots, or even like hives on the skin possibly. Um, and symptoms can last anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days. It's just different depending on your body. So how do you treat a histamine reaction? Okay, I always recommend first cleansing the skin, keeping it clean, and then applying um, cortisone cream on the affected area. This will help reduce inflammation, soothe the skin, hydrate the skin. Um, and then you can also use like a fragrance-free moisturizer or something like aloe vera gel that will also help um, reducing inflammation and soothing the skin as well. And I would just keep applying that as long as you see um, the histamine reaction is still on your skin. Like I said, anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days, just depending. Uh, now, how do you avoid a histamine reaction? That's a good one. Um, there's a couple things you can do to avoid a histamine reaction. So, uh, first, I always recommend using a high quality hard wax. Um, first, hard wax alone is so much safer on the skin compared to soft wax because with hard wax, hard wax adheres to the hair, not the skin. So when it's removed, it's only pulling out the hair, it's not tugging at the skin. Where soft wax um, strictly adheres to the skin, the hair just comes out with it. So when you pull the soft wax off, it is tugging at your skin. You can also only use soft wax, uh, go over an area with soft wax one time. If you go over it more than once, then nine times out of 10, you are going to lift the skin. So overall, I always recommend hard wax over soft wax. Um, now, not all hard wax is the same. <laughs> so most hard waxes um, will have an ingredient called colophonium or rosin, which this is a known allergen. This is just, um, it's in a lot of like poly blend waxes. This is very common. It's been, they've been using it forever. Um, I always recommend using a hypoallergenic hard wax, which means it's allergen free. So it's not going to have colophonium rosin. It's not going to have any kind of known allergens. Um, it is allergen free. Um, and always using a high quality hard wax. Like I said, I never recommend anything from China. Uh, be sure to look at ingredients. That's really important for us at Mermaid Wax. Um, our signature series and our experimental series are hypoallergenic. Um, there is no colophonium or rosin in, in any of our signature series or experimental series. Uh, in our pro series, there is colophonium in our pro series. Um, so pro series is suitable for most skin types, but I don't recommend it for sensitive skin because it has that known allergen in it. Um, you can also take a, um, an antihistamine uh, before getting wax, this will just help block the histamines uh, and keep the keep the chance of you getting symptoms lower, <laughs> basically. So that's always an option too. Um, and then lastly, after your appointment, something just to help not cause a reaction later uh, would be to make sure you don't go swimming, don't sweat, don't have sex, don't work out, um, don't take a hot bath or anything like that for 24 hours after your appointment. We just pulled all the hair out of your follicles so those are now open. So we wanna make sure that they seal and bacteria or infection don't come in and mess everything up. So just make sure after you get waxed, take it easy and that will also help prevent um, any kind of reaction. Now, there are some cases where you just can't avoid it. Like I used to have this one client um, a long time ago, I waxed her for years, but when I first waxed her, the first time we waxed her, we only did her eyebrows. I remember her telling me, hey, I just wanna let you know, don't be alarmed. But as soon as you pull the strip off of my brows, I'm going to get a histamine reaction. It only lasts about 10 minutes and then it goes away, but it's not your fault. I was like, okay. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm using a hypoallergenic card wax, a cleanser and everything. Like maybe this time will be different. 
Um, no, she still got it. It happened immediately. It happened every single time I waxed her. <laughs> but then at, like, afterwards, after I checked her out and everything, then it would be almost completely gone. It was the craziest thing. It just popped up and then went away um, very fast. <laughs> like I said, within about 10 minutes. Um, so sometimes you just can't avoid it, but there's always things you can at least, it's better to, be, to try to be preventative than be reactive. Um, so if you can try to avoid it, just keep that in mind. So I hope this helps. Uh, any questions, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.